another edition on Spice Island Cafe and today guess what we're doing sugar cake we call it pink and white candy because that's the type of making there's so many different versions of sugar cake but that's only listen an <laughs> my husband said it's the only Antiguan version and he knows nothing about Romanian type of sugar cake and listen <laughs> My mom, shout out to my mom, uh, Betty Elizabeth, back home there in Greens, my niece, my sister, everyone. Uh, because my mom is the guru for sugar cake. She is, I really hope I do this justice today, mom, or else I'll be hearing about it. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do sugar cake or pink and white candy, as I said. I have a coconut here, grated, no. The thing with this coconut, I used uh, the, we call it the green coconut, meaning the one that is not too dry. And you, you remove the shell, you take off the back, and then um, you add the grated, uh, well, you take off the back and you grate it so that you get just the white pack. Since I am doing um, the pink and white candy today. All right, I have the sugar and um, all my condiments here, which is cinnamon stick and the bay leaves. So I am going to put the grated coconut and uh, you will see how I did that. And I will put that in a pot right now. So let me move this over to the other side. Let's get stirring. <laughs> So I'm going to crank the heat up and then I'm going to lower it. So I'm going to put, I bring it about two coconut. So I am just going to put all of that in the pot right now. I am going to put about two cups of sugar, I may put more because I mean at the end of the day it's sugar cake. <laughs> and I am going to add water to cover the pork a little bit or let's start off with about two and a half cups. I boil this water already to speed up the process, but we'll see. I'll put it about let me see. One. Yep. Yep, that's about two and a half. And then I am going to put the one stick of cinnamon and bay leaves. And let that just do its thing. It's going to boil. I'm going to give it one stir right now. Just so that everything gets incorporated. And then I'm going to leave it to come together. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, it's on medium high right now, and then I'm going once it starts boiling, I'm going to lower it down to a medium. Uh, you can use a medium sized pot. My pot is a little bit bigger today, but that's okay. So I let it do its thing, and if you have questions, you can ask. Um, because it's pink and white, I do have a uh, red food coloring, so. I would take out when it's almost ready I would take out one a little bit and then I would you know add some coloring to the, the balance and make sure I merge it together I also have um, I don't know if you saw it earlier I also have almond extract which is going to add a little bit of flavor and I use almond extract because it's pure, it's clear, and it would not turn the sugar cake dark. Remember, I'm the one that gave you that idea back in college. Oh, really? Yeah, when you asked me to teach you. <laughs> oh, please, yeah. oh, oh, my husband is a joke. Uh, no. He cracks me up. Yes, uh, you may wonder why I have these. No, because I'm going to use food coloring later on, I, I put it out in advance. So I'm just going to put it over here. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't need a lot of ingredients when you're doing sugar cake. You just need the coconut, the sugar, 
and um, the flavorings that you're going to add, like the extract or we say essence back home, and um, we add some like the cinnamon stick and bay leaves and things like that to, to give the aroma when you are doing chicken cake. There are so many different versions. I'm doing a pink and white version and I'm going to cut it up into tablets uh, afterwards. So we'll see how that uh, works out. So yeah, and I'm happy that you all here are here being a part of this live today. I am doing a sugar cake, Grenadian version of sugar cake. All Caribbean islands have some version, all the Stinian islands have some version of sugar cake. School version. children say Antiguan version is the only version. <laughs> oh, my husband thinks that there is only one island in the Caribbean and that's Antigua. But we all know better, right? So we all know better. So, Yes, so you know my question, yes. since we're not getting any questions from the online stream as yet, as yet, you know me, hold down this intake because <laughs> I haven't eaten dinner as yet. Oh my goodness, what are you trying to say? You ate lunch pretty late, so your belly is but still full. That's, that's not an answer. Then. <laughs> oh my goodness, he is such a trip. Uh, it's, it's, it just depends. <laughs> It does depends. It depends on your oven. I mean, your your stove top. Um, and since it's boiling now, I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium. So I just have to watch it. I will show you the different stages when it's uh, when it comes together. And I want to remind you, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as Spice Isle Cafe or you can go to vlog.spiceislecafe.com. You would see this video as well as uh, you get the recipe to do this in your own kitchen. Oh, it's boiling up nicely. What, what? I love doing the zinnia dance as, as I normally do. <sighs> Shout out to my niece back home. And all of the viewers all over the world. You know who you are. Everyone, welcome. I'm happy you are here. We are making sugar cake. <laughs> pink and white candy as we call it back home and it's boiling away on the stove. I have it on medium heat and it's looking nice. The white is just like snow. Oh my goodness, I think my mom would be proud. Mom, you're proud, right? <laughs> Hopefully she's watching y'all. So when, when is it you guys who normally eat sugar cake? I know back home, for those of us that didn't grow up privileged like you, <laughs> you know, privileged. Back, back in Antigua and so, Listen, sugar cake. This was hard work. Sugar cake is like, what, 50 to 75% of your weekly allowance? Oh my goodness, well I didn't have weekly allowance, but um, the thing is, that's what my mom did for a living and I... I definitely was a partner and I tried to, you know, sell. Everyone who knows Carol, they know about sugar cake and fudge and I have always been selling something <laughs> because my mom made them. And I try my best to, you know, share the love. You know, you just had to pay me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, but that's how we did it in our family. We used um, sugar cake, uh, you know, as a snack, in, in between snack, you can use it as an in-between snack, you can, you know, as a reward, as an incentive, when the kids behave very well, you can say you can have a slice of sugar cake. <laughs> so Gabe was um, showing that he's impressed that you um, grated the coconut by hand. So I suppose we can explain to them that, you know, it's not like, you can buy the coconut flakes, but I mean, well, which is it to go natural. Uh, the texture, if you saw the video earlier, the texture, I rather, because that's how we do it at home. My mom always did almost everything by hand, and I think for some reason it just, 
that's how I know to get it the right texture. So I I do just that. <laughs> I do what I know. Um, but if you do not have a grater, you can try a food processor. Some people can get it very because you want it fine. So you can try a food processor. You can grate that. Um, you know, using a different type of blades. And uh, if not, then definitely use a grater so that you can get that texture because I'm not making another candy we call chip chip where you use that side um, where you grate cheese and coconut and, um, or carrots. So um, this texture helps me doing it by hand. It really helps me get the right texture for this particular candy. Okay. This, this is the first time I even heard you. I know we're doing the um, pink and white candy, but this is the first time you know, I'm I'm hearing you talk about chip chip, and I never had chip chip. You yet. had chip That's chip. The, oh my goodness! Listen, listen. Do raise your voice. My, <laughs> my husband oh. ate oh. so many uh, different kinds of candies from me that um, I don't think he remembers, or my mom probably would have sent it up, you know, as as his little care package. And for some reason, all the sweets he ate, he just like probably did something to his brain. <laughs> so, but yeah, he had chip chip before. That this, it's um, another candy. We just kind of like uh, use our spoon to plumb it down, and then it kind of forms that shape, and uh, you you can have it like that. But today, I am trying the famous pink and white candy. So. Yes, then hopefully my husband remembers that one. So I have to check, the thing with pink and white candy, you have to check, you know, you can ask your questions, but I still need to be checking the pot, you know. All right, let's see. Yeah, it is boiling away, boiling away. Any other questions? I am happy to answer them the best way I know how. And um, I'm sure afterwards when I can pour this all out, <laughs> we, we all would be happy in the house, especially my husband, because he loves sweet stuff. <laughs> That's why he picked me, right? <laughs> Oh no, you didn't have a comeback from that one. Oh, because I am busy. I am busy working while you're here giggling, talking to yourself. I am working. Obviously. You see, you're talking truth, Carol. Yeah, truth. Oh my goodness. All right, let me see what's happening here at this. Yes, it's boiling away, boiling away. Now, the thing with candy is that you have to be patient. This is one of those things where you cannot rush the process. If you rush the process, you burn the candy and you get frustrated. Things don't turn out right. And if you have an order or something, then forget it. You have to scrap that. So just make sure, try to be patient because this process is delicate, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. Um, now, while this candy is boiling, I'm going to show you. You just use um, a baking sheet, kind of like this. This is what I'm going to use to pour out the candy afterwards. So I'm just going to use probably half of, you know, a side or something to put the candy out. Um, so I just set this aside until I am ready for it. So once you have um, a baking sheet of salt, if you don't have a baking sheet, that's fine. You can just use a, like a Pyrex dish or something and um, to pour the candy out when that happens. Yes. Questions, questions. I am ready. You can ask me as many questions as possible pertaining to candies. <laughs> oh, I just saw this. So Terrence was asking, how can we tie this back to the BJJ? A very valid question, Terence. I don't know. So, um, 
So there's a lot of work and grips that go on when you're grating yeah. the coconut Let's for say. the candy. And so I would say it, it helps to exercise your grips for jiu-jitsu. All right, so that, that Listen, would be Listen, I think it's the other way thing. around. All the Jiu-Jitsu brothers and sisters need to try making candy and let me see afterwards if you feel like your muscle turn into steel because I'm telling you, grating those coconuts is no small feat. So, Saki was asking how long you leaving for, um, leaving it for. So, I'm not sure what she means by leaving it. Oh, you mean leaving it in a pot? Yeah. Um, I leave the... the, the it has to boil and the water has to just evaporate. You cannot leave water in there because it has to reach at a point where it's sticky enough um, to, to, to form when you pour it up. So um, it needs to just boil and then hopefully the water dries, you know, it, it dries down and then you can pour everything out. So I, I, I used to make a lot of candies when I was in college and obviously my mom made all of them when I was back home because I had to do the selling. <laughs> but uh, I haven't made pink and white candy for a while. So uh, we will be learning together if you wish, <laughs> you know. Questions, questions. I am happy to answer them all. And we are just waiting for the candies to, you know, do its thing. <laughs> I put uh, two and a half cups of water in there and it's boiling away. So hopefully it dries down in time and I can show you how I pour it out and it's coming together and we can all have sugar cake. Well, maybe not all of us, just those of us in this house. <laughs> It's okay. I'll oh my goodness! So Saki was saying yes. It was about how long you leaving it in the pot. I think you answered. And also, does it catch on the bottom of the pan? So yes. So my thing is that's why I put it on medium heat. I am using a non-stick pot. So I still have to look at it. It's not just because I'm using a non-stick pot. I I forget about it. But if you are using just a normal pot. You have to watch it um, and make sure and stir because it will, it, you know, it can get brown at the bottom very quickly if it's on high flame. So make sure and put it on medium heat. And as I said, it's a patience game. You just have to be patient and let the water do its thing, stir occasionally and ensure that it's not burning if you're not using a non-stick stick pan. Questions keep it coming. I like it. Sugar cake in the house, y'all. Sugar cake. I love it. Do we know how much time has passed? Because, I mean, I still don't have it. About mm, 15, 15 minutes or so. Okay. Because I greeted the people, you know, and then I said, all right, you know, I put everything in the pot, so we'll see how it goes from here. My, my internal clock tells me it's more like 16 minutes, but... Ah! So, yes, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Let it come together, let it come together. So, Pooh Bear was asking if it fills the house with a um, coconut smell because, you know, it looks good and all of that. Yes, it does, it does, it does, it does. Now, if you're not a coconut fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry because if you know, I mean, especially... But I, I shouldn't say especially Grenada because a lot of Caribbean islands use a coconut in almost everything they make. So, so um, Saki was asking where we get in the fresh coconut from. Oh, you can get that. In, I got my coconuts from Walmart and um, Fiesta. So you can go to your local grocery store or Whole Foods market or... Um, you know, if there is a, a specialty store in your village or in your um, city. Hispanic stores yeah, his, have it. Yeah, so, Hispanic uh, stores usually have it too. So I just, Walmart and the Hispanic store. That's basically where I got my fresh coconut. And um, 
you don't want it too dry i think i have one let me show you um the coconut the outside of one of the coconuts still so when you're buying that well that's something my mom taught me when you are purchasing coconut for pink and white candy you need the one that looks as we say green you see this one this is about the one you want because you know the flesh is is going to be softer so you can take the back out and i just took the back out with my knife <clears throat> so you want something that looks like this if it is darker that means it's too dry for this particular candy because that's just there for the flavor but you don't want it all the way through when it's coming because um, pieces of the cinnamon stick and the bay leaves can get in there and you don't want that you just want the flavor you want that aroma and um, to, to make your candy taste very good keep them questions coming the water is drying down, we're making sugar cake, you know, in the Edwards house. Welcome again to Spice Isle Cafe, and we are making sugar cake. So, uh, Safia is saying she loves adding this just before it's done to the top of a pancake, FYI. Yeah, <laughs> ooh, I never even thought of that, but that's a good idea, you know, doing coconut uh, like this just before. Um, pancakes done you have a lot of ideas people put that in you know you can crumble it probably and put it on top of parfaits or something yeah I taught Saki that I remember <laughs> when she was texting me and then asking me you know more you taught Saki how yeah, to do this how was she getting oh, done Saki is very good with her um, uh, pastries and desserts oh, of so course because I taught her listen you, you taught listen. her okay any other questions guys you can feel free to ask me questions and I would be happy to answer them. We're making sugar cake. So about half of the water disappeared. <laughs> so it's 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 getting there, but Woo, just hold on for a little longer, a little longer. I promise you, it's going to happen very soon. All right. I am so happy you are spending a Friday with me here in my kitchen. I love, 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 love candies. I like selling them, eating them, <laughs> sharing them. Maybe not so much, but... <laughs> them from my husband because he would get up and have it for breakfast if you give him a chance. Please do not publicize my private business um, online. But you're not lying. Oh my goodness. I'm he sure has he, a sweet tooth. I'm sure his so, father would agree. Yes, yeah, sweet tooth. So please, please do not publicize. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Sugar cake, pink and white candy as we call it back home, as my mom calls it. And she is the sugar cake guru to me back home. And I learned everything candy from her. So I hope I do this justice. And um, I hope you love trying the recipe at home with your family. Oh, the water is drying down. Oh, it smells so good. Smells so good. So you see those bubbles? And you can look at the back of your spoon to see if it's getting ready, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. We just have to leave it and do its thing. All right, all right, all right. We're 
We're making chicken cake here on Spice Isle Cafe. I hope that you try this recipe, pink and white candy. I know everyone, you know, all my West Indian brothers and sisters. Goodness. <laughs> Questions, just keep it pouring, keep it coming, and I will be happy to answer them. And don't feel afraid. I know candies can be a bit intimidating sometimes because it requires a lot of patience. <laughs> and we just want to reach to the end. But I promise you, if you take your time, everything will be all right. I have to keep checking it, y'all, because this pink and white have a mind of its own sometimes. So I am checking. I am going to load the fire just a tad. See how the water is drying down? But still, more water has to come out from there. Keep the questions coming. I know it's kind of quiet in this place, but it's okay. This is the patience of making candy. You, I mean, you can this hear a pin drop. This, this, um, this, is, this is a lot of patience. Yeah, my patience. husband kind of waiting for it. He's like, ooh, hurry up, hurry up already. <laughs> so when are you going to teach Neil to make this? I know how to make it. What do you think? Yeah, oh, my goodness. Well, I, I am doing this now so he can learn. <laughs> he can learn, trust me. So I'm gonna get ready just now to take out all of the, uh, what do you call it? These beautiful scented goodness in here. The Baileys and the cinnamon. But if you are using anything else but a non-stick pan, please, please, please be looking at your pot, be stirring, make sure and uh, put it on a low fire or else you will be in trouble. <laughs> I'm not wishing that on you, I'm just telling you. I've, I've, I've messed up some candies before, so. The water is drying up and soon, sooner than later, we will, I would pour a little bit of the um, extract in there. You don't want to put it too early because then all of the, the that aroma will disappear. It will be cooked up, <laughs> evaporated. Oh my goodness, my lovely people. Questions, questions, questions. Just keep them coming. We are making sugar cake or pink and white candy specifically. Um, another time I would show you a different kind of candy because we have so many different ones. Uh, but today is pink and white, I think one of the most challenging ones, but one of the most tasty and beautiful one that my mom taught me before. Questions, questions. Any other questions for me? So, um, Saki was asking if you're going to stack them. So. Yes, I will try. It all depends on, I haven't made it in so long, so I will try to put the white and then put the pink on the top, or I might put the white and then put the pink next to it and then just cut them once they you know cool in this house we don't try we do <laughs> so yeah um sometimes uh, or most of the times when my mom made them she just kind of like stack them closely together um but i know i can stack them on top of each other as well but because some would have to come out before the other i need to you know see what i want to do <laughs> Yes, the water is drying. This is coming together. So 
So I'm just going to go ahead and take out the bay leaves and the cinnamon stick right now because the water is drying down. Oh, I had a little, little, little tiny bit of sugar there. I'm just going to put it in. Oh, so I take off the bay leaves. I have two bay leaves and all of those things came from my mom. <laughs> So bay leaves down. Now I'm taking out the cinnamon stick. Yes, and put that aside. Okay, look at this baby. Y'all, it's coming together. Woo! I can do the zini delta. Okay. Look at this baby. It is coming together. Don't play with Carol. Hey. I'm just stirring it, but it needs the water. There's still some water in there, but it needs to get kind of sticky. It's getting sticky, but not as sticky yet. So if I was making, um, what you call it, the turnovers, I would take it out at this stage, but since I am not making turnovers, I would leave that to, for all the water to go out and then we can go from there. Yes, pink and white candy in the house. I know you're probably asking, well, where is the pink? Well, I need the white to come out first and then, you know, add the coloring and, you know, in the other so that I can put everything together. Any other questions, just keep them coming. I would be happy to answer them, but I have to keep my eyes on the pot. I like it. Look at this baby, woo hoo. It's coming together, y'all. You see how all the water just practically disappeared? Yeah, but I still have to leave it to... So I'm going to just use the finger test. I'm just going to test this here and see how sticky it's getting. It's getting there. A little sticky, but not... All there together yet. I'm gonna wash my hands and then get my pan ready. But can I see when I do it, I don't need to do no finger test or <laughs> I just know you. But you're not we, at that level the yet. The thing is, we're no. not we're not back in the Caribbean, mm. so a lot of things are a little bit different <laughs> now. What we get here. So. But the excuses seem to be the same. Okay. See if you get candy let's see if you get candy so I'm just kind of rinsing out my my pan you don't have to put um, oil or anything you just you know use a, a baking sheet or as I said a parrots dish a flat one if you have it and that's fine just rinse it out just before you pour out your your uh, coconut So I'm just, again, getting my pan ready. This is a stage I would add my vanilla, well not vanilla, sorry, almond extract. For pink and white candy, almond extract just, or essence as we would call it back home, um, just add that aroma you want with pink and white candy, right? So I am gonna eyeball it, so it's about a teaspoon. I'm just gonna pour in here, okay? Boom, done. And I am gonna mix this baby. Oh, look at it, y'all. It's coming together so nicely. Woo! I just wanna see. 
See, look at, look at what we're getting. This is what you're getting. It's coming together. I can just eat, a, you know, a, a spoonful of that right now. And I know it's, it's holding because when I try to put it down, all of them don't come down one time. It's, you know, it's, stay, it's, it's holding together. All right. I'll give it a little bit of a, a chance again before I put it out. Yeah, at this stage, you don't want to joke with it. You want to <laughs> you be there stirred and it, it, it will burn. So Pooh Bear was saying to put me in line and use your newfound BJJ skills. Uh. <laughs> and, and then um, Saki was saying she wonders if the grinder attachment on the KitchenAid or food processor will grate it because she's scared grating coconut by hand. Yeah, and you, the thing is, <laughs> what you, if, if you are going to grate coconut by hand, you just don't grate down to the, as we would say, the little nut. Just leave it at a good, you know, um, just leave a, the little piece behind so you don't have to worry about it, you know? But it's all fine and good. The thing is, I don't want to take this out too early. But I know it's practically getting there. Whew. This is a long way. Yeah, because if I take this out too early then, but yeah. as you can see, it's coming together. I'll, I'll cut this in half really and then put the pink on top of that. Right. So that you can see the, the coloring. Make sure you do it the way I showed you exactly. <laughs> the way he showed me. Oh my goodness. I have no words, y'all. I have no so, words. Carol? Your mom just sent a message for me to tell me it's not ready yet. Oh. <laughs> Yes, it's not ready yet. I have to wait before I can take it out for sure. Carol, we're going to have to call his mother. Yes. If she's not watching this and ask her, when did she ever see me making any sort of sugar? This is, this is about Carol. Let's not make it about me. <laughs> Anyhow, I have yeah. a question. Yes. Um, from I'm, I'm stirring in the meantime. Yes. Howard was asking, with um, that size pot, how much can you get from that batch of batches? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, it depends on how many coke. I use a bit, I could have used probably a medium sized pot, but with a pot like this, you can probably put another two coconut in here and then make a whole, um, a whole tray. But what I have in this particular pot will just make half a tray worth of, um, of uh, candy. Okay, half a tray it doesn't seem like a lot. Yeah, half a tray doesn't seem like a lot because I only used two coconuts and remember you were removing and whose fault is the that? back. You use, you're removing the back of it. So, you know, it's it's almost there y'all, I promise. But Carol, you're acting like you're getting that much. Boy, remember you're getting old, you have to watch your sugar intake. <laughs> I don't know when that was so, ever a thing. This allows me to address Terence's question earlier again. So this transfer, um, this um, transfers to jujitsu because it's a great mm. source of energy. Oh mm. my God! Right, Carol? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you need to. Listen, this I just did a taste test, y'all, and this is so good. So what I'll do now, I think, I think it's time to take this off. And then add. Can you all see this? I'm going to take part of this off and leave it there. And then add the coloring so that I can get. I don't want it too soft, but I don't want it too hard either. So you can see at this stage. Look at this. So this is where I would take this off. Yes, it's kind of coming together, you see? 
look at the edge, almost like a ball. Right, so I'm gonna take half of this off and then, um, so get ready because I am gonna pour this out on here and then use the coloring and add um, some more of these on top and hopefully we'll be eating sugar cake soon. So when are you gonna start pouring? I now. I don't. I'm just taking out some of the spoon and putting it there, like right now. Okay. So here I am just going to use my, my palette, my spoon, and kind of flatten this down. Hopefully it's not too, too soft. And then I am going to load the fire a little bit and pour some. I'm just going to use my spoon and make sure this is flat enough. Hopefully it's not too, too soft, but you'll see. Okay, and I am going to use the food coloring. Probably, oh, this is where I have to put my, my gloves on because for some reason, food coloring will just do its own thing. All right, so I'm gonna put like three drops. Two, three. Okay. Let's see. Woo, color. Woo. So yes, we're getting that pink color on top here. top of the pink ones or sorry the white one over there yes yep so now <laughs> I just take this and put it on top so while we're watching that Gabe was asking if you really need to make it into a candy or can you just eat it out of the pot? You can eat it out of the pot, but I don't want you to have belly work. <laughs> Some people don't even want to wait for it to turn into any kind of candy. I'm just put pressing it in here, y'all. Remember, you don't have to do it like this. You can put it out in plumps. But since I already have the white, I'm going to wait and put the... Turn off the pot. And yeah, take a spoon. Try to dish this out here. And then yeah, just you no know, wait for it to cool and cut. So as Howard asked earlier. I'm gonna move this towards the, the front over here so people can see a little bit better. And we're just gonna wait for it to kinda cool before it cuts. It's a little soft still, but we can just wait and see. I'll give my husband a little taste test, y'all, because he, we know how he's eager. So, 
So that's the, you know, basically it. You just now have to wait. You know, Howard asked earlier on what this would make. Now I could have put the pink on the side and then wait for everything to dry, but I just put the pink on top of it so that we can cut it later on into like tablets, you know? And um, I'm gonna give my hubby a, a taster. So hopefully he can you can address you can me taste. as you want to... as sir sir you can you can emperor, taste you know the... or my king oh my goodness the... too much of that oh mr greedy oh mr greedy <laughs> all right all right oh listen all listen right. okay okay yeah you get it you get into the antiguan level now. oh my god almost there you know i have no words so this is going to take a while to pull and What's a while? I can't just stick it in the um, freezer and then take it out? Well, we could stick it in the freezer. That is actually a thing, you know, you can do. Mom never really did it like that. We just always left it out for the wind to do its thing. But yes, we could try to stick it in the freezer. So if your mom didn't do it, why are you suggesting that you do it? Well, because I want the people to get a, a feel. So just for the, the sake of the life. So I was asking if the stove's still on. No, I <laughs> no. turned it off. Yeah, I made sure that she turned the top sake. I, I turned it off. I, I, I keep this whole, the house running like a tight shit. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, um. Are we going to wait on it to cool or just tell the people, look, when it's cool and you do it, you just cut? Well, <laughs> well we might not. I'm going to put it in the, uh, as Neil suggested, I'm just going to put it in the fridge. Certainly. Um, okay. and see how fast it cools off. But generally, we we don't. Mommy just like leaves it out, and then it, you know, it cools off, and then we cut it up and so forth. But for the sake of this live, I'm gonna put it in here, and probably in ten minutes, I can, I'll take it out and see if I can kind of cut to show you what it looks like. All right. Yes, yeah. so in the meantime, this is the fun part for me. That's where you go in the pot. <laughs> and you take all what's left in there and, and have a, a tasting. Are they still on? Yeah. Yeah, we got, um, you got to keep them engaged. We got 15. Look at this, y'all. Uh, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have another taste tester. Here, oopsie daisy. Oh, it's falling. Thank you. Mmm. We all don't know how this is good. Yes, it's some good stuff. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm happy with it. I just yeah. hope that it is. As of course, it didn't taste. Um, Antiguan. I was gonna say like how it is when I do it, which is Antiguan, but I mean, yeah, whatever. right. So your sister is coming after you. Um, Katie what? Bright is like heat in the fridge. Yeah, oh so yeah, mommy would it. disapprove of this. I apologize. I just want the people to see it. <laughs> I, I can hear it right now. Colin, what you doing? <laughs> hey, my, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. Um, it's fine. It's fine. People do it all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't have a blast chiller, but that's what people do with the blast chiller. You put the hot stuff in very quickly so that it can. So why don't you have a blast chiller? All the cool kids do. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we're, we're on live, so I don't want to, to hurt your feelings. <laughs> uh, did you buy it for her? I don't have feelings. No, I oh don't my know. gosh. Did you buy it for her? So we made sugar cake yeah, today. Now, after you cut up the sugar cake, I have this nice um, box that I um, got. And, you know, it's candy, so you can... Do whatever you want. You can use candy bags to put it into storage. You can use nice little boxes like these. And they have stickers with the thank you note on them. And you can just put some candies in here and stick it on and all of that goodness. Okay? So I'm, I'm going to wait for a few minutes. Hopefully I can cut <laughs> one or two and then put it in here and let you see what, is, what it looks like. Any other questions 
Apart from why did I put the candy in the fridge? <laughs> because I wanted to cool down faster and my mom would never do that. But oh. since it's me making it. I'm just saying it, it sounded unacceptable. You know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't do that in Antigua, you know? Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I just wanted to... But I'm glad that you followed my idea because my ideas have led you so far. Really? You know? And, I mean, remember in college, I think that's my idea for you to, to do what? The, the, the cooking stuff? Uh-uh. Yeah. No, no, no. But let's not jump into I details. Have always let's been, focus on the sugar cake. I have always cake. been into cooking and baking and selling. <laughs> so what are some other things that we can do with the um, sugar cake? So like Saki said, she do sometimes she takes it out of the pot, puts it on a pancake. Yeah, so as it. I said, it, so just as Saki mentioned, she puts it on a pancake and take it out beforehand. If you're making a parfait and you have your granola, you know, on top of your yogurt, and you want to put some uh, coconut on top there, instead of just throwing coconut flakes, you can do something like that, take it out beforehand and put it on top of your parfait. That could be something. So I'm not going to uh, charge you, you for this, but I'm going to tell you what about, because this is knowledge I'm dropping. <laughs> so He's what dropping about knowledge, y'all. If we chose to, you know, like just take a nice scoop of sorbet and, and actually put it on top of the sugar cake after we cut it. On top yes, of the, the sorbet? Yes. Well, you never know, that might be a thing. Mm -hmm. So sorbet, sorbet and um, coconut, but not everybody likes coconut. So hopefully the sorbet has a coconut flavor. Well, everyone should so like then coconut. when you use the candies on top there, that's good. Questions, questions, uh, keep them coming. I am so happy you guys take time out of your busy Friday to hang out with Carol in the kitchen. Spice Art Cafe, don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Uh, all of that goodness. I hope you try the recipe as well because listen, this is some good stuff. All right <laughs> My mom has been the guru for candies for as long as I have known her. So I am just trying my best since I am far away <laughs> to uh, You know keep that memory alive Keep it coming, y'all. I put, listen, this is not a thing that we normally do, put in the candies in the refrigerator, but I so want to show you. If it's not ready when I take it out, then I'll have to tell you bye-bye and just post up a picture later, <laughs> or a video later with all of that goodness. But for now... So I have um, question. another question here. Like I said, always dropping knowledge, everything. So, you know, like... Yeah, I like, I like my cheese and stuff and so. Is there a way that I can mix? You know, like when I say like I'm serving my sugar cake, but it's almost like with a, let me dig into my knowledge. You know, like how you can have a Parmigiano crisp with goat cheese mousse. You know, it's like, can I do something like that? Oh, and it's with coconut? Yes. Oh my goodness. You know, guys. It was not his original idea. He probably just went into my, my books and um, pull out something in there that he knows I'm working on and decided to um, try and drop what? knowledge. What? Okay. I don't know why you'd say No, that. I think, you know, coconut is a nice flavor, but you have to know what to pair it with or else, you know, we can be in trouble. <laughs> so Pooh Bear was saying to definitely remember to post pictures and make everyone super jealous. Yes, definitely I'll post pictures and um, I hope that you all try this recipe for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, any other questions? Oh, so I got an incoming message. Your sister said, your mom said the white part is soft, so just cut one row for people to see. Okay. So, yeah, okay, then, yes. Suggestion. So, you see, my mom could just look at it and she knows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, I'm the one that helped her you know, to do all of this fancy stuff. And so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why she's the guru, y'all. <laughs> but, yes, so I am... Um, I'm giving it a few minutes and then I'll try and cut it if it's not cutting then definitely I'll have to tell you bye and um, post up some pictures afterwards so you can see the end product and I really really hope that you try the recipe okay questions again we're good so 
Am I going to like eat dinner after this? Or? Why? Why you have to put dinner into this? Because we, I'm thinking we supposed to have a date at the I, house. Can I? Can I mix my um sugar my, cake my sugar with cake your with food? My dinner. Yes. No, that's that's dessert. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure there's no way for me to integrate sugar cake with ribs and brisket? Oh my gosh. I have no words, y'all. This is what you get. So, uh, let me give it another two minutes and I will take out the candies and try to cut a little bit. But if it's not cutting, you know, we are, I am definitely going to post up pictures afterwards because it, it, it takes a little bit to dry. But I'm really happy that you spent some time with me and my lovely but crazy husband. <laughs> uh, here at the Edwards house because um, this is what Friday night quarantine is all about. Cooking in the kitchen with the people you love, even though they drive you crazy sometimes. <laughs> Questions, honey? Uh Anybody else have any questions so that we can we can um, wrap this up? If, no, if not, we don't see any. So I would say maybe um, do what I would say to yeah, definitely try to, to cut it. Um, yeah, to cut it now. Okay, so I'm gonna try and take this out and um, see if it can cut, and uh, and then. Later on, I'll post up the other things. I'm just going to get a kind of, well, two knives. I'll have the serrated one and a normal one. Okay, so it still seems a little soft, I have to say. So, you know, I would have to cut, let you see this a little bit later because it is still a little soft. So, um, let me see if I can show you a row. Okay. Yeah, it is really, it's soft still. I mean, it's coming together, it's pulling together, but this is kind of what it will look like with the pink on top and the, the white in the bottom. Uh, but yeah, once it dries, then I can definitely cut it up and um, show you how this beauty looks later on. So yeah, this is basically what it will have. You have the pink in the bottom, I mean, sorry, the white in the bottom and the pink at the top. It's coming together, but it's not there yet. So I'm going to leave this. That's why I'm telling you. This thing here is a patience, is a patience game. All right. So I am so happy that you spent a little time with me here in at Spice Isle Cafe. Make sure and like, subscribe, share and tell someone about making sugar cake. Until next time, I am Carolyn Edwards and one love my people. Bye-bye.